Hello there ladies and gentlemen, TX141 here, also known as Paul, bringing you what I believe is now the 8th instalment of my War Thunder Live series. In today's instalment, I'm going to be taking apart once again in the Mozdok Malgebek defensive operation, the realistic battle based around the Battle of the Cuban if I remember correctly, and last time I took flight in a Yak-1B, which you may see in the top right corner of your screen as displayed now. However this time I'm going to actually try and get in on the side of the Luftwaffe and take a flight in my bearish Flugzeugwerke 900 Friedrich Wehr, or in common English, BF-109 F4. Anywho, let's get in the queue and get down to business. Now of course I expect to have to wait a little while simply because the last time I had to wait ages because everyone wanted to play the Germans and nobody wanted to fly the Russians. And hence why, oddly enough, I had to switch over to the uh, Russians in the end simply because the number of people in the German queue was horrendous. However, this time it's looking rather favourable with a 20 or 25, and the fact that the Russians have 16 aircraft to the Germans 11. I'd like to quickly say thank you for all the support that was provided on the episode I had with my buddy Zach. That was very, very good fun in all honesty, and I know there are a number of you who keep asking me uh, when can we squad off and things along those lines. I'll get around to it folks, just been a little bit busy at the moment. And it's just, it's been a little bit hectic over the last couple of days. Been trying to get a lot of view, reviews together, so that way I've always got some footage on hand to put up when I'm busy with work and whatnot, and if I can't get a good game over the weekend. Still, nonetheless, let's put that all aside and get down to some good old business. Okay, so it looks as though we managed to get into a game. Now let's take a look at our settings. Now, do I really want these extra 15mm? Nah. Omnipurpose, sounds good. So does their target. Seven for 500, what about fuel? I think I'll go with 45 minutes and go to take off. Why not? Okay, this will be the first time I've ever flown a Messerschmitt Y9F4 in realistic mode. This is going to be fun, I think. Come on, old girl, let's see what you can do. I mean, the last German plane I flew was the Focke Wolf 190A5, and that was great fun. And we're up against the Russians, and the only plane they have which can combat, uh, compete with the 109 up high is the LA5, and that was why the earlier versions, so we need to get altitude fast. And try and hit them from about 4,000 meters or more, we'll have a massive advantage. God, look at it climb here already. I just quickly want to say thank you once again for all the support you've given me so far, ladies and gentlemen, not just on the War Thunder Live series, but also on the reviews and indeed on the TX's Tips series. It all goes a very long way to helping me continue to produce very good videos for you, or the videos which you enjoy in class is very good. And really it just keeps me going. Not that I get bored of doing this, I love doing this as a hobby, but at the same time it just means that it always keeps things fresh and also it just puts a smile on my face every morning when I see a nice little comment with a smiley face at the end of it. Of course the smiley face is not compulsory, but it goes a long way nonetheless. Okay, we're already overheating our water. We're doing this wrong then. Okay, the roll rate's a little stiff in realistic mode, that's fair enough. Now historically I know that the German Luftwaffe pilots respected the Messerschmitt 109 f 4 as the last truly definitive sort of high performance version of the 109 before the G's came along which linearised it to some extent. However because I'm going up against probably mostly Yakovlev aircraft I'm going to avoid turn fighting at all possible costs. I'm going to try that Eagle Strike which was recommended to me on the P-47 video or at least attempt to perform such a manoeuvre those who are wondering, I believe it's where essentially I position myself right above my target with an altitude advantage and keep making dead vertical strikes down on them because by being dead vertically above them and diving on them they have very little room to manoeuvre and I can always essentially loop back up and rinse and repeat the manoeuvre, maintaining my energy while forcing my opponent to bleed their energy. Well that's how it works in practice I believe, however how it goes down in this is going to be completely different I assume. Okay, we can whip a little bit more. This plane does accelerate very quickly and I do not have much ammunition, I've got to keep an eye on that. Well, I have 1,000 machine gun rounds, but only 220mm rounds, that's not much. Oh, this thing climbs very quickly though. Okay, build some speed. 
I've got a Yak-7 down low, who of course is trying to climb. And I've got two LA-5s up above. This is going to be tough. Let's call that engine down. I do not want my water to seize. Five thousand meters already. That yet one's up high. Okay, let's loop. Our friendlies diving on them as well. Right, leave it. We're not going to crash into the friendlies. Not today. Loops really nicely this plane, I can say that for definite. It's going to be a pain to land, as I've found out from the books I've read concerning this aircraft. Very thin undercarriage. By comparison with, say, the Focke 190 Anton. That LA 5 looks a good target, that Yak 1 has dived to much lower altitudes, as I guessed. Or as I envisioned. I shouldn't say guessed, because I did see it coming from a mile away. I cannot see anything off in the distance. The LA5 looks to be diving gradually. I can see them still there. Okay, this is going to be a war of attrition. Let's stay away from you for a bit and head over here. Alright, I'm going to have to play close support, I reckon. Right, there's an LA-5 off in the distance. Let's go to 80% energy and just maintain our altitude. Maintain our ceiling at roughly 5,000 meters. Uh, how many enemies are still alive? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, right. Okay, just keep dropping. Ah, there's quite a few of them on the back of that MC202. I see them all there. I guess I can dive through and fly off back to friendly territory. Drop a little bit more. Right, that one's breaking out. And there's a lag free over there. Right. Engine back on, we'll stay above them because they're all coming over. This could be nice and fun. Easy now. Combat flaps on, so we bleed some more speed. And roll. Engine off, just come down very gradually and make your way through. Now back on. Fly through. I don't know what they're shooting each other for, that really off put me, never mind. Just fly away, they've got no energy advantage on you. They will not be able to catch you. That flak is getting awfully close. Fly away for now. They will not be able to catch you. This guy might be able to, right. Alright, 
weapon again. Just build a little bit more speed. Okay, we've got our distance now. We've got good temperatures. We're looking good. We'll loot around in a minute. We've still got 35 minutes of fuel. These guys seem to be breaking around as well. In fact, this guy's come away from the battlefield. Let's loop. I'm not interested in you. I'm interested in your friend. Got him. I got you. I got you right, right where I wanted you. <laughs> Number one. And loop de doop. Engine back on. Nobody coming in. Number two. <laughs> I like you, Mr. 109. I like you very much, sir. That's two in the bag, and we need one more to rival our score with the Fockle for 90A5. <sighs> and we still got a ton of ammunition. We still got a full fuel tank. Well, a pretty good fuel tank. So let's fly away. Come fly with me. Let's fly. Let's fly away. Da, 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 da. My singing is terrible and this video just got flagged for copyright. Hooray! Okay, singing over. Serious face on. Okay, uh, there's only myself and two 110C4s still alive. I mean, we were fortunate that LA5 was running out of energy and therefore could not pull off a clean shot, however. I think we judged that pretty well. Well, it seems our uh, friendlies, who are all dead, are moaning quite a bit. Not to comment on the players themselves, of course, because I refuse to judge anyone. Seeing as my own caliber of players, rather that of a novice, rather than an expert. Although I'm quite happy, two kills and I'm already at the top of the team. I'm quite over the moon with myself, actually. Taking a plane I've never flown in realistic mode before and scoring two kills. Anyway, gloating over. Right, looks as though I'm going to be the last one left. Perfect. Don't know why people get so uptight in realistic mode. I've got to be honest, folks. I've been in a couple of games, obviously ones which I haven't recorded because I've either been shot down instantly or because the games just weren't enjoyable, they were cakewalks, and there has been some real abusive language exchange between players, and I've had some abuse flown at, thrown at me for the fact that I fly independently and fly by myself, but as I stated with my first ever Wolf Under Lights episode, I'm going to fly at my pace, unless I'm squatted up with someone, of course, but I'm going to just fly at my pace and enjoy the game. Almost sent my notepad, which I do all my review notes on flying there. Got some gunfire there. Looks more like flak if anything else. Mm -hmm. Ah, we've lost an AA gun. That's not good. Although that can tell me... Aha, we've got gunfire going off here. Ah, they're shooting away, so that means there must be something down there. Yeah, I'm aware time's running out. I've still got 39 minutes of time, thank you very much. Right. I see what's going on. They're shooting at those units there. Engine off. We're going to save as much fuel as possible and descend. I 
cannot see anything on the airfield, so I'm going to assume all enemy aircraft are still in play and the ball's still in the park. Yeah, those armor cars are definitely getting shot. Yeah, I can see the fire, so that's where I've got to aim. Okay. Keep my eyes open. If I can pull off another kill, I'll be grateful, but I'm grateful for the two I've had. Yeah, those units are in trouble. Okay, we're going to snap round now. Gotta do it gradually in order to make sure we don't lose too much speed. Ah, that, oh, the rudder isn't. Oh, I see how the rudder works. Ah, so you can use it in realistic mode with the keyboard. You just got to be very sensitive with it. By comparison with, say, arcade mode, where you can fry it about very nicely. I know where they are, they're over by the armoured cars. Should have perhaps taken a shallower approach in order to mask my descent, especially now that I'm down at 3000. I'll make one more tight turn. This should drop me by about another 500. As long as my pilot doesn't black out due to a lack of vitamin D, we'll be fine. Right, we've got them attacking the AA guns as well, so we're going to break across that way. We're good. Engine on. Flaps raised, let's go to work. Let's keep our altitude, let's keep our altitude. We've got a Yak-7 right behind us who's breaking home. Gotta be careful, we could have enemy units coming out of the sun. Another AA gun's been taken out by an LA-5, so... Aha, uh -huh, that's the LA-5. Now, Flak, don't be nasty to me. We flew past you before. Okay. There's three of them. Uh Aha, -huh, there's that enemy LA-5 from earlier. He's up high. He or she's up high, sorry. So, essentially... They don't seem to have spotted me. The two Yak-7s there are going to be my main cause and effect. I'm going to hit them. Engine off. We're coming in nice and tight on this LA-5 now. Got a hit. No damage. Turn. And fly away. LA-5 coming in fast. Coming in very fast. Got him. That's the third kill. He's coming in fast. Break up. Right, I've lost my rudder. I'm still flying though. It's good. It's not looking good, it's not looking good, it's not looking good, it's not looking good. Oh, it's the end. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, dear. I screwed that up. <sighs> At least I got one more. Ah, well. That was a good laugh. Started off well. <laughs> Never mind, the Russians beat us. Uh, we're going to have to pull back towards Germany once again. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Still, uh, that's the end of that game. Let's go and take a look at how well we did in terms of the scoreboard. Okay, so I pretty much almost unlocked the offensive 15mm belts in one full stroke. And on top of that, three kills. Died, obviously, but they were three very nice kills, in my opinion. To be honest, I should have just flown through. I should have ignored the Yak-7B. That was silly of me, but 
you learn, you learn with time. And nonetheless, that was quite a good uh, amount of fun. And we came top of the team. I'm quite happy with that. <laughs> oh, I'm getting better every day. Well, the BF109 F4 isn't too bad of a plane in realistic mode. To be honest, I let the plane down myself due to a very novice mistake of turning into engaged those Yak 7Bs. Although I did clip one of them, I really started fighting a massive struggle because the LA5 came down on me and, well, whatnot. But never mind, we all learn with practice, and I'll be definitely flying the 109 F4 again in future episodes of War Thunder Live because it is quite a stellar aircraft. Still, that's all I've got time for, I'm afraid, and so. With that being said, I've been TX141, and if you've enjoyed this video, why not leave a like, comment or subscribe for future War Thunder Live Realistic Battles episodes on my channel. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, take care and good luck in the skies.